etched in time and our memories. Are those moments of sacrifice, of courage, of pride. A single moment etched in time, followed by another, and another, and another. There are millions of moments, but one day when we all remember. On November 11th, join us to say thank you. Welcome to our Johnny Lombardi Remembrance Day ceremony. Today, we mark an important day in Canadian history. This year, due to unprecedented times, we are holding this ceremony virtual. Nevertheless, we are all in this together. In our own classrooms, in our own seats, maybe our homes, but together we remember and stand for peace. Across Canada and many other countries, people gather on November 11th to honor the courage and devotion of brave men and women who made the supreme sacrifice of dying for their country. The hostilities of the First World War ceased on November 11th, 1918 at 11am, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. The following year marked the first observance of a day to remember and honor those who died, as well as to give thanks for the sacrifices of those who came back from serving their country. Since then, Canadians have fought in other conflicts and have given their lives so that we might enjoy freedom today. They too should be remembered. To commemorate this national ceremony, please stand up wherever you are and join us as we listen to our national anthem, O Canada. Day mean to Canadians? Why is it so important? Let's take a look at what our veterans and officers have to say. For me, I would say it's an obligation to remember my friends who have passed. When I got back from Afghanistan, Remembrance Day was really hard for me. I always think back to the, the guys that I went to school with. That, aren't with us anymore. My squadron lost 83 bombers. Eight or nine boys never played. To keep their memories ready, to keep their memories alive, to keep their memories uh, with us, we have to remember them. Knowing the sacrifices that some of my soldiers have made, the ultimate sacrifice in some cases, um, Remembrance Day is, is, is a it brings it all together for us. Remembrance Day for me is probably the most important day of the year. Any things? Everything. When I went to Afghanistan, um, going out the gate the first time, I was like, this is, this is it. Our death toll for the police was around 70 to 100 police officers a month. You're gone and I'm here. 
one of the lucky ones. I rushed in to pick him up, and I stepped on another lead line, and I went up. These five Afghan women had walked by. They unveiled their faces, and they, they walked by, and they waved. Them doing that really showed us that we were doing our job, and that they didn't have any fear of the Taliban. Whenever I see young people, I educate them, show them what is the importance of uh, being in services. In Remembrance Day, we pay tribute to those who stepped up and did what needed to be done. I think the young folks of today have, have got to realize that it's not about warmongering, it's not about, you know, anything like that. It's the fact that, you know, there are so many people in the world that are helpless, that need protection. Give a little thanks to celebrate them and to, to feel for whatever hard, hardships they've gone through, basically because they've done it for these young people so that they can live. It has to be told on the emotional side so that they understand that uh, there was a reason for it. The reason for it was to, uh, is basically to protect our, uh, our families and our country. I'm really honored when the kids come out and want to shake my hand and say thank you for what you did. Remembrance Day is about remembering those who signed up and essentially wrote a check to say, I'm giving you everything. Oh, my name is Earl Joseph Kennedy. I was born in August 10th, 1923. I'm roughly 96. Well, at 17 years old, I joined the Army with a buddy of mine. As a matter of fact, I couldn't, the Army wouldn't accept me unless I had my parents' signatures, both of them. My mother signed my, the uh, authority, my father refused. So I put his name down, off we went into the Army. Young, wild, 17 years old. Now, here we go. Off we went with, across the channel after all the waiting and the messing around. Raining and pouring and blowing. You couldn't ask for worse weather in the middle of the night, mind you. This wasn't in the daytime. We finally got to the shores of France. And when we got there, the craft that we were in, the landing craft tank, LCT, let down the, the front, front uh, part of the ship to allow us to debark. We were a jeep, and we were one of the first ones in front of the uh, craft. And as we went to debark, we went right into a sandbar. We. We carried on. We were the second phase of D-Day. The adventure of being a young man, getting into the battle and doing what you thought was right. And what you thought was right was getting Hitler's boys finished. And if you could do anything, you, you did it. Unfortunately, there were so many of them that didn't get there. And then you go through the graveyard and you see the ages are 19 to 22. 22 is the older one. They're all eight, all kids, really. I often said that, what are we? We're, are we soldiers or are we civilians in battle dress? You know, because we're still civilians. I mean, I'm sure we'll get some training in how to shoot a gun and what have you, but uh, I think we're, st we're still civilians. Well, if we're talking about veterans and, and their function, and a true veteran, a good soldier, we're talking about the heart of the country. So yes, I, you want to know what the, what the veteran is? The veteran's a strong, strong-willed individual who has a definite goal in his mind, and that is to serve his country and do it as it, sh it should be done, and take care of anything that's that needs taken care of. And without them, we'd be in big trouble. 
My name is Stuart Berry. I joined the service in September 1950 at the age of 19, at which time I was stationed in Victoria, BC. I tell you, I, I just joined because I'm a young guy and let's go. You know? I would like to say to serve my country, but I was a adventure. I joined for adventure to go somewhere you know, and see the world. And which I did. Well, the tough times, I don't like to remember. But I remember I played hockey on the Imjun River in Korea, frozen over. I just can't remember how it all came up, but the local people, they were all excited about it. I wasn't an angel in hockey, I was a little on the rough side there. So they, they would say, very boo boo. <laughs> yeah. Well, the way I look at it, Let's think of the good times. Let the, the bad times go by. I came to this hospital June the 17th, 2007. My wife passed away in 2005. So I came in. Now, most of the people here are getting older and they're... When I first came here, I used to love to sit in the rendezvous, and you could hear many stories from people, interesting, very interesting, but now the guys are getting, I say, over the hill. They're not able to converse with you like they used to, but uh, there was some very, very good stories. This is the BBC. Here is the news. Dauntless Canadian troops beat back hitherto invincible German forces on Normandy's Juno Beach today. <laughs> and this is Canadian Armed Forces Radio with something that really matters. That great, great hit by Toronto's own Ruth Lowe. and broadcaster Johnny Lombardi would continue to play a prominent role in our popular culture for another half century. But not before he and the men of the 7th Canadian Infantry had earned the world's gratitude for what they did at Juneau Beach. Canadians have been fighting conflicts and have also taken on the role of creating peace across the world. Many have given their lives so that we may enjoy freedom in Canada and so that others can live in peace in their home countries. Here in our school, we also remember and we also want a world of peace. It's a soldier's life and die. 
not just a poppy, it's a symbol that we care. Is Naja. Naja, this is Naja. Peace means reading books. Peace means to me sharing with my sister. Peace is smelling the flower. Peace means I I hug my mommy. Peace is swimming in the ocean. It is reading books. Playing with my sister Nia. Peace is playing with my dog. Peace is for my dog, for my mom, for my brother. Peace is in, I play with my toys. Peace Pizza means to play hide and seek. Peace playing toys. Peace begins when I hug my family. Peace means to play with friends. Yes, Charlie. Peace is hugging friends. Peace is for playing with my brother. forces are the land, naval, and air forces that defend Canada's security and promote strategic interest at home or abroad. They are the National Defence, Royal Canadian Navy, Canadian Army, Royal Canadian Air Force, and Special Operations. The Canadian Armed Forces don't just fight in wars. Here's a clip from Minister of National Defence, Harjit Sajjan, that gives us more insight into what this year's looked like for Canadian Armed Forces. Today, we pay tribute to the dedicated women and men of the Canadian Armed Forces. This year has been exceptional. With unique challenges brought on by the pandemic, our members have shown strength and courage in the face of adversity. You have kept us safe at home. You reunited families as you brought home Canadians from around the world. You have worked tirelessly in the fight against COVID-19. Your commitment and generosity have been an inspiration to us all, and your sacrifices will not be forgotten. Neither will we forget the sacrifice of your brothers and sisters 
whose lives were tragically lost this year while serving Canada. On behalf of all Canadians, I want to thank all of you, current and previous Canadian Armed Forces members, and especially your families, for your contribution and your sacrifices. Merci beaucoup pour tout ce que vous faites. Je suis fier de vous. Thank you for taking part of our ceremony. Thank you to all the teachers and students who participated. We would like to leave you with this passage as a commitment to remember. They were young as we are young. They served giving freely of themselves. To them we pledge amid the winds of time to carry, to carry their torch and never forget, we will remember them.